If you have not liked and subscribed the channel, please uh, go to the Google and or YouTube. Uh, of course, you are already there on YouTube. So, but you can find also find on my um, Google. So, Alien Tag Champion. If you open this, this channel will open. And uh, if you are new to this channel, this channel is all about if you want to learn something more about uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager, Apple iOS, Android, or Windows operating system, or anything related to technical news uh, in the in the, in uh, in the tech industry. Okay. So uh, today I am going to show you how uh, if you are managing the mobile devices, right? So of course, if you are working for any organization or as a being as a consultant or uh, or working as a freelancer or whatever or wherever you are working, right? So how you can uh, actually uh, how you can block right the the mobile devices? So if any any of the uh, any of the users wants to access the email the organization email uh, from any any other un unapproved um, email client the, it should be blocked or if the device is not compliant or or doesn't uh, is not meeting uh, the any any conditions then it, it should block so how you can do that from the exchange accessing because you, you you should be blocking as per the like for the privacy and from the security perspective right so this is um uh this is a uh, exchange admin center so exchange admin center url is admin.exchange.microsoft.com so if you just type admin.exchange.microsoft.com okay so you will open this uh, uh, admin center and you see here there is a mobile tab and you see mobile device access policy right so this is new portal um, hope uh, as soon as you log in into this portal of, of course you, you you have to be exchange admin uh, roles so then you will able to access this exchange admin center and if you click on mobile device access rules right and you see there is two options right uh, device access rules so what is the exchange active sync quarantine mobile device, device that aren't managed by rules or personal exemptions notify selected mean when these devices are quarantined so right this is the device access rules and this is quarantine devices so what is quarantine devices exchange active seeing quarantine mobile that aren't managed by rule or personal exemption notify them so so what you have to you have to just click on add it right and you see here uh, what is exchange active seeing access setting so when mobile device of the selected family or model like you want to allow everything or you want to block so it it's it's always recommended to select the quarantine and let, let me decide it's my opinion so i'm but but it's it's recommended to select the quarantine or you can block it so if you select the quarantine it will decide based on the rules whether it will block or allow by default so and you can select the administrator to receive if you if you put your name or email address your administrator will be notified when when the mobile device is quarantined so like if any users try to access any uh, uh, email the organization email from any unapproved client or that's not meeting the rules right the whatever you will define in the device access rules and then and you can put the masses right what masses they will get right so you have to select the quarantine here and put uh, masses and right so and then you have to do it and go to the device access rules you can select here and you can select all families or on, or only this model or you can select it so don't don't create uh, both the rules right uh, these rules or just enable this one device access rules a uh, quarantine rules and let it select the quarantine put the administrator email and or or uh, on the message right so this tax will include a message sent to the users whose devices is quarantined or blocked or in process of being verified once you enable this quarantine then you can create a um, conditional access policy uh, in uh, then uh, conditional access policy in Azure or you can uh, create a compliance policy here in, in, in the Microsoft Intune and you can define the criteria right when a, where, where the devices may, is, must meet the encryption and passcode then only allow the email access right 
and just and and one important thing if you have this quarantine uh, rule exchange activating rule there and if you also apply the conditional access policy in the azure then then what happen the, uh, the conditional access policy will take precedence over exchange activating rule so even if you even if you have a uh, block or allow or quarantine it will override the uh, conditional access policy right so uh, uh, the conditional access policy will always take precedence over uh, exchange active ring uh, exchange active things rule so make sure you don't have so i am talking about this conditional access policy. so if you go to the devices scroll down you will see the conditional access policy and you so this policy if you have any policies apply uh, to your mobile devices targeting to the mobile devices then this policy will always take precedence over intune if you have if you have any other um, uh, mdm like air watch or any other soti then then of course uh, 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 maybe uh, it will uh, it it will work with the, them because it will they, they won't take override only azure condition access policy will take precedence over exchange active sync rule that is designed by the microsoft so this is very critical and you, being as an admin or consultant you should know about this how and uh, when you have to create the exchange active string rules and how it will work with azure conditional access policy or any other mdm solution till then thank you have a good day i hope you have learned uh, what is the exchange active sync rule and how you can use with azure conditional access policy till then thank you have a good day